This video is sponsored by Fake Pigeon. Fake Pigeon. Better than real ones. Hi everyone. My name is Maria and you might know me from Instagram where I've been posting a lot of my works over the past several years. Things like tiny watercolor paintings and some larger ones. But also other bits and bobs like digital illustration, photography, embroidery, little sculptures that I sometimes put in the street to photograph. Occasional comics and just little illustrated stories about my daily life here in London and abroad. That's back when we could travel, actually. The reason this video is happening is that a while ago already I promised to answer a lot of your questions about um, illustration, art in general, work process and stuff like that. I finally come around to doing it. See what's first in the agenda. Favorite art materials. And as I've been doing this for years, I have a lot of things I enjoy working with, but I think we can narrow down this list to keep this video as short as possible. Let's start with my favorite watercolor paper. 300 GSM uh, cold pressed paper from British, I believe, art material shop that sells this and texture and thickness of it are the best things ever. Another type of watercolor paper that comes from a fancier family of a more expensive brand. This hot pressed paper from Arches and this paper is just beautiful and has really lovely quality to it. Finally something very, very different. This was a present from my friend who brought it from That's France, true. I believe. And it's very rough handmade watercolor paper. It's actually been the hardest to work with, but it has its own benefits. For someone who enjoys working with small format, the postcard size is just perfect for watercolor and it already has this lovely setup at the back in case you just want to pop it in the mail once you're finished. The paper is amazing and it's really just a pleasure to paint on it. I also enjoy this pastel paper, which is actually not perfect for watercolors, as you might know that it, it's not that good in absorbing water, but I really like these uh, light pastel colors. Um, gives a really nice tint to something you're working on. Just don't use too much water on these ones. Finally, one of my favorite things is this notebook by Mosery. First of all, it's just a nice layout, it has a little pocket where I put tiny drawings I'm planning to work on in the future. But also the paper itself is, is a lovely quality. Thickly textured as well, very good at absorbing any type of water. It's just really nicely made, there's a lot of uh, good little detail about it and it's been a pleasure to travel with. Best for sketches for me personally is the kind of paper that's only lightly textured, is not too thick or not too thin, perfect for notes and sketches, and it can even hold a little bit of watercolor in, which makes it really good to keep as a sketchbook, or just for note taking, or create little drawings in it that you might later use for bigger works. What else you're asking me? Favorite medium that's not watercolor. That's definitely pencils. Just listen to them rattle. Pencils are awesome. Paper loves them. I love them. It's really easy to control. I like to have my razors as soft as possible, like these two colorful guys from my trip to China. 
They are super soft, which helps me make sure paper doesn't get damaged every time I erase the pencil. And keeping your paper intact is very important for watercolor paintings. One of the nicest sensations you can experience as a human artist is that sensation of sharpening a pencil and then applying it to some nicely textured paper. Mm. That's just good. This person asks, what is your least favorite art medium to work with? Good question. Oil. Mm -mm. It's, just, it's just fucking hard. I have no idea what to do with it. It's so different from what I'm used to. And every time I work with these, I actually just wanted to never paint again. Maybe sometime in the future I'll pick it up, but for now, water-based paints work pretty well for me. Another question I have here is the brushes I use the most. I think this probably would be my preferred selection of small brushes that seem identical or at least very similar um, when you first look at them but when you start working with them you're really gonna pick your favorites and my favorites are I think I probably normally paint with the same three brushes and I find it to be the perfect, perfect trio of tools. Obviously, unless you're making something large in scale, then you're gonna need larger brushes, but it's the ratio of the sizes that matters to me. One needs to be small, another one needs to be bigger, and there needs to be the biggest one that's sort of uh, flat in its shape for filling and color work. Here is one of my favorite watercolor sets. This one is 40 half pans from Windsor & Newton. And as you can see, I've had this one for a while. It's, um, it's a little bit old and a little bit dry, but I, I, I really like the kind of colors uh, it helps me produce. And there is another little set by Dallar & Rooney. I think that's how you pronounce it. And um, as you can see, the colors, the colors are a lot more vibrant and it's sort of more fresh and juicier in a way. So these two little sets here really cover a wide range of your painting needs. Any tips for artists wanting to try watercolor? The main tip would be, it's not the cheapest medium, right? Watercolor can get really expensive. And I wouldn't go crazy and invest a lot of money into best brushes, best paper, and best paints because there's really no ceiling to how expensive those things can get. I would definitely not buy cheapest paper. You need to know that your paper can really hold the water in your paints and it depends on whether you want to use uh, wet watercolor or drier watercolor or anything else on that paper really. You need to trust your paper and be like, I know this bad boy is gonna survive pretty much anything. So yeah, get nice paper, get a couple of brushes of different sizes and just go for it. Try using more water, using less water. Just don't rush it and get a feeling of it. Everyone's gonna find their own way. And only by giving it a try and experimenting and having a feel of your materials is gonna help you find your own way and Trust me, it's definitely gonna be absolutely worth it. All right guys, it was nice meeting you and I hope you enjoyed this little sesh. Thanks for watching and stay creative. <laughs>